Hey guys, this is Dare to Defy Stage 4 in DFF OO Global and this is going to be my 4 out of 4 no FR run on Dare to Defy. The party that I used here is Galuf, Realm and Garnet. The Galuf and Realm combo is also something that I used not too long ago in Dimensions and Transcendence. Both of them can do a lot of often damage without increasing the turn count by too much which is quite key in no FR runs and Shinryu stages since you need to chunk through a hefty amount of HP on the bosses. This stage in particular has 90 million HP per boss for a total of 180 million so if, if you are doing a no FR run on this stage it will be quite a long run and you do need to have a lot of off turn damage in order to make the turn count. The third party member that I used here is Garnet as the aura support. I did try to have Fujin LD instead of Garnet as the third party member but unfortunately I couldn't make the turn count. So in order to make the turn count turn of 90 turns without the use of an FR you really need to have some sort of damage limit breaking aura in play such as Garnet's increasing HP damage caps. Both my Garnet as well as Realm also has 5 over 5 ultimate weapon and Galuf has a 3 over 5 ultimate weapon greatsword so that helps tremendously as well to meet the turn requirement for the stage. Overall the run took me close to 45 minutes of real time. Uh, the video is sped up considerably so that the overall video length remains somewhat manageable. I'll cover a little bit about the stage mechanics before going into some tips and tricks with this party. First off, this fight itself isn't too threatening in terms of HP damaging attacks that the bosses can use. In fact, as far as I can tell, there are only two HP attacks that the bosses use, one of which is when they hit 100% force time whereby they'll use the force time attack Drago Tornado which actually does very little damage. That, that attack is only a brave gain into split AoE HP damage. It doesn't do any brave damage at all. So as long as the boss's brave is kept low each time they go into force time, you are only taking a few thousand damage per character in your party which you can easily heal off with HP regen effects especially from characters like Galuf. As far as I can tell, the only other HP attack they have is a generic HP attack called Hitbutt which they'll only use if they have amassed a significant amount of Brave when they start their turn. That doesn't mean that that attack is negligible though because of the mechanics in this stage. Firstly, when the bosses hit 40% force time and above, they start gaining brave after every action that they take at the end of their turn. Secondly, when they go into force time itself, they, they have a brave floor, so their current brave cannot drop below 20% of their max brave. Similar in, in effect to characters like Ursula can give your party. This also means that the bosses are also immune to break when they are in their force time. The combination of the brave floor and the brave gain after every turn means that the bosses will be swimming in brave and you need to find a way to keep their bravery in check otherwise it will run out of control and they'll start using hitbutts on your party. To make matters a little bit more dangerous, during force time the bosses also gain an additional 50% to HP damage done. So their hitbutts, although only a generic HP attack, can be very threatening. Because of this, in this stage in particular, characters that employ counter attacks or trap like mechanics really shine a lot because they can reshave the bosses brave after every turn that they take which increases the likelihood that the bosses will start their turn with very little brave and therefore you shouldn't be really taking a lot of hitbutt damage. 
Another approach is to use tanks to absorb the incoming hit, but because that attack is only a single target generic HP attack, Galuf is a shining example of that. Because the HP attack is only a generic attack, it can miss. So anytime they do a hit but it actually just hits Galuf who will evade that, that attack and he will in turn counter attack the bosses which is really good. The only other notable mechanic I think everyone should take note of is the boss's resistance to elements. Other than the wind element that is. When the bosses hit 60% force time gauge they gain a, I believe, 50% wave damage resistance to non-elemental attacks as well as all elements except only for the wind elemental damage, which I guess is meant to showcase Fujin and her, and her kit. This brief resistance becomes 90% when the bosses hit 80% force gauge and above. You can somewhat rely on Brave Kin mechanics to get around this, but keep in mind that you still need to find a way to shave the boss's grave otherwise to start doing hitbutts to your entire party. To that end, Garnet really works very well since her BT aura provides Brave Kin to the entire party, and Realm herself also has Brave Region in her kit for the, for the party as well. So for the most part, that feels a lot of damage that this party does. Although at above 80%, the Brave Damage Resistance starts coming into play because Garnet enchants the party, Galuf will keep the party safe because he will take all incoming hitbutts from the bosses and negate at least that part of the HP damage. Galuf also provides HP regen, so when the bosses hit 100% force time and do Drago Tornado, You'll take some HP damage because that attack is guaranteed hit, but you'll easily heal off the entire party. Garnet herself also of course can heal the party with either her LD or EX, but for the most part, the damage is very small to the point that HP region should be able to heal it off. If you want to use FRs in this stage, one good FR of course would be Ursula here because both Galuf and Realm has a lot of often damage, and that goes very well in along with what Ursula brings to the kit. You can also wind and chant Ursula through either a Bards or Fujin call, and that will actually cause her FR to cancel out the enemy's force time effects, at least until your force time is over. So coming to a few tips and tricks on the party, when you're doing a no FR run, it's very important to conserve key skills, especially LDs, that grant your characters key buffs. Example here would be Realm's LD that provides her the LD buff that gives her access to tentacle attack. Or of course Galu's LD that gives him access to his LD counter attack. You want to of course try to space out these attacks and use them mainly as a way to refresh the buffs that the LD gives. In this fight as well, I'll of course be using Garnet's BT and BT Plus. And one key thing I think if you're using a BT Aura board is to try to space out the BT mode and BT Plus. The main idea is that you want to try to get as many turns as possible where you are affected by the BT aura itself. Lastly, ideally what you want to do is to try to use your BT mode and summon mode right after the bosses come out of force time, like in this case here. This way you get to lock the bosses at 0% or at least 0 to 20% force gauge for a brief period of time and this way you can also maximize your damage while delaying the boss's progression to the next force time that they have. Coming to some character specific recommendations here. First up with Galuf, 
with Galuf, he usually can charge his EX after just one skill use. So throughout the entire battle, you want to try to use skill use into EX and rinse and repeat. This not only ensures high damage throughout the fight, but also longevity in terms of his skills. With regards to which skill to use outside of EX, you want to try to space apart and time so that you, know, you use his cover when you need to reapply the cover buff or you can use his LD to apply that and refresh his LD buff. If you don't need to refresh any of the cover buff or LD buff, then ideally what you want to do is use his Shira Dohari or his S2 on his turn to charge his EX meter. Coming to Realm, if you want to use Realm in long fights such as this, you really need to make use of the tentacle attack because that is a free attack that doesn't use her skills, thus at least acceptable damage, batteries the entire party and importantly extends all her buffs by one which means that her LD buff will last for a considerable amount of time. You usually would want to use Tentacle whenever she gets a free turn. The only exception I think is if the sketch debuff falls off and you need to reapply the sketch debuff. In most cases though, when you're outside of her free turn, so when you're on her regular turn, you should be able to use her EX or sketch to reapply the sketch debuff. Finally, just in terms of call abilities, I did give a Fujin LD call on Garluf. On hindsight though, I think it's actually not necessary. The party can battery through the brave damage resistances anyway and you'll still be doing acceptable amounts of damage even at the enemies being above 80% force time. In addition to that, I think that being able to hit for wind weakness damage I think in this particular stage wouldn't really matter a lot if your attacks are still enchanted so in this case Garnet herself unfortunately still enchants water and thunder and if I'm not mistaken this still would mean that your attacks will undergo the 50 and 90 percent brave damage resistances. I gave the Seymour LD call on Realm and that's mainly for the debuffs which I use when the bosses are below 50% HP. And for Garnet, I gave her just the Seed Rain's call only so that she can launch during her BT mode for the extra bit of damage. As far as call abilities go, you don't need any defensive calls if you are using trap characters and some sort of damage mitigation like the Luf. Like I said, as long as you keep the enemy's brave in check, this fight isn't very threatening so you don't really have to bring like Warrior of Light call or Redia call or anything like that. Try to focus on calls that do damage or boost the damage that your party does. This is especially helpful of course in a no FR run. Anyway, that's it for the commentary. As always, if the videos have been helpful, do leave a like, comment or subscribe. It really really helps a ton. Till then I'll see you guys in the next Dare to Defy stage. See ya!
終幕とっておきだ消え去るもはや誰も止めろ
強気だ。誰も止めない。
っとねよし入ってやがれってみせよう